good morning students let us next see the properties of the rectangle rhombus and square rectangle rhombus and square are also parallelogram so the properties of the, that the opposite sides are equal opposite angles are equal and diagonals bisect each other hold good in each types of these quadrilaterals also but there are some more properties of these quadrilaterals now these properties are first one is diagonals of the rectangle are congruent now quadrilateral abcd is a rectangle diagonal ac is congruent to diagonal bd this you have to prove now here this complete the proof by using the suitable reasons is given here so what you do which two triangles will consider triangle a b c and triangle a d a b now in these two triangles side a b a b is congruent to side d c opposite sides of the rectangle angle a is congruent to angle d both are right angles and angle side a d is the common side therefore Diagonal AC is congruent to diagonal PD. Corresponding sides of the congruent triangles. Now, second one, diagonals of the square are congruent. So, for that here, draw the square and then same way as above, you can prove that the two triangles are congruent and so the diagonals are also congruent. Now, diagonals of the rhombus are perpendicular bisector of each other. Now, quadrilateral ABCD is a rhombus. Now, diagonal EG is the perpendicular bisector of diagonal HF. And diagonal HF is the perpendicular bisector of diagonal EG. This you have to prove. So, segment EF is congruent to segment EH. Segment GF is congruent to segment FG. This is given. Now, every point is equidistant from the endpoints of the segment is on the perpendicular bisector of the segment. So, points E and G are on the perpendicular bisector of segment HF. One and only one line passes through the two distinct points. So, line EG is the perpendicular bisector of diagonal HF. Diagonal EG is the perpendicular bisector of diagonal HF. Similarly, we can prove that the diagonal HF is the perpendicular bisector of EG. Now, similarly, for these two three statements here, properties also can be proved. Diagonals of the square are also the perpendicular bisector of each other. Diagonals of the rhombus bisect its opposite angles. And diagonal of the square also bisects the opposite angles. So now here see remember these six properties which are shown there in the table. Diagonals of the rectangle are congruent. Diagonals of the square are also congruent. Diagonals of the rhombus are perpendicular bisector of each other. Diagonals of the rhombus bisect the pair of opposite angles. And diagonals of the square are perpendicular bisector of each other. And diagonals of the square bisect opposite angles. Now see practice set 35.3. Diagonals of the rectangle ABCD intersect at point O. If AC equal to 8 cm, then find BO. And if angle ACD equal to CAD equal to 35, then find angle ACD. Now given quadrilateral ABCD is a rectangle. Diagonals intersect at point O. AC equal to 8 cm, angle CAD equal to 35. To find out angle, to find BO and angle ACD. Now, solution is quadrilateral ABCD is a rectangle. AC equal to BD. So, that is the diagonals of the rectangle are congruent. So, AC equal to BD is equal to 8 cm. Now, BO is equal to half of BD. Diagonals of the rectangle bisect each other. 
so half of 8 equal to 4 centimeter. Now in triangle ADC measure of angle CAD plus measure of angle ADC plus measure of angle ACD equal to 180 degree. Some of the measures of angles of the triangle is 180 degree. Now 35 plus 90 plus angle ACD equal to 180. So ADC is equal to 90 degree that is angle of the rectangle. So 125 plus measure of angle ACD is equal to 180. So ACD will be equal to 180 minus 125 that is equal to 55. Now see the second sum in rhombus PQRF is PQ equal to 7.5 then QR is equal to to find QR. If angle QPS is equal to 75 then find the measure of angle PQR and angle SRQ given quadrilateral PQRS is a rhombus PQ equal to 7.5 angle QPS is equal to 75 to find QR angle PM PQR and angle SRQ. Now quadrilateral PQRS is a rhombus so PQ equal to 7.5 centimeter given PQ equal to QR is equal to 7.5 centimeters all sides of the rhombus are congruent angle QPS is equal to 75 so angle QPS is equal to angle SRQ is equal to 75 opposite angles of a rhombus are congruent measure of angle QPS plus measure of angle PQR is equal to 180 degree adjacent angles of the are supplementary so 75 plus measure of angle PQR is equal to 180 degree so PQR will be equal to 180 minus 75 that is 105 degree now third one diagonals of the square IJKL intersect at point M find the measure of angle I M J J I K and L J K. Now quadrilateral I J K L is a square. Diagonals intersect at point M. Now to find I M J J I K and angle L J K. Now quadrilateral IJKL is a square. Diagonals intersect at point M. Measure of angle IMJ is equal to 90. Diagonals of the square are perpendicular bisector of each other. Angle I equal to angle J is equal to 90. Angles of the square are right angles. So therefore angle JIK equal to angle LJK is equal to 45. Diagonals of the square are bisectors of opposite angles now the fourth one diagonals of the rhombus are 20 centimeters and 31 cent 21 centimeters respectively then find the side of the rhombus and its perimeter now given quadrilateral ABCD is a rhombus AC equal to 21 centimeter BD equal to 20 centimeter to find side of the rhombus and second one perimeter of the of the rhombus ABCD. Now ABCD is the rhombus. The diagonals are perpendicular bisector of each other. So AO equal to half of AC that is half of 21. Now in triangle AOD by Pythagoras theorem, 
AO square plus OD square is equal to AD square. So, 10.5 square plus 10 square is equal to AD square. 110.25 plus 100 is equal to AD square. So, AD square is equal to 210.25. So, AD will be equal to square root of 210.25 that is 14.5. Now, side of the rhombus is 14.5 centimeter. So, perimeter of the rhombus is equal to 4 times side. So, that is equal to 58 centimeters. Now, fifth one, state with reasons whether the following statements are true or false. Every parallelogram is a rhombus. This is false because all sides of the parallelogram are all sides of the rhombus are congruent. So, every parallelogram is not a rhombus. Every rhombus is a rectangle false. All angles of the rhombus are not right angles. So, every rhombus is not a rectangle. Every rectangle is a third one. Every rectangle is a parallelogram. This is a true statement. All the properties of the rectangle are the properties of the parallelogram. Every square is a rectangle. True. Every all properties of the square are properties of the rectangle. Every square is a rhombus. True. All properties of the square are properties of the rhombus. Now, every parallelogram is a rectangle. False. All angles of the parallelogram are not right angles. So, every parallelogram is not a rectangle.